Hi everyone, this is Piyush Ranjan, the founder and chief consultant of Management Masters, a boutique admissions consultancy firm for the top MBA and MIM programs in the world. Now today we are going to talk about the steps that you need to take in order to apply for the top MBA and MIM programs. Now we will share with you an eight step process which we also use with our clients which will help you prepare your best application for your dream MBA or MIM program. Now when it comes to applying for the top MBA and MIM programs, one of the most important things that the B schools look for is self-awareness of the candidates. Now the candidates must be self-aware. What it means is they should know their strengths, they should know their weaknesses, they should know what they have done and why they have done it and they should have a very very clear, clear vision of where they actually want to go in the future. So the first four steps of our process are completely dedicated to raising your self-awareness. We call this part of the process as a self-discovery part. So let's start. The first step is the initial profile evaluation. Now, you should be absolutely honest with yourself in order to evaluate your own profile. You should know where you stand academically in terms of your career experience, in terms of your leadership experiences and where, you do, where do you stand when you compare yourself with the applicant pool. The second step is to find out your key strengths. Now, you need to be very very sure of what are the key things which differentiate you from the others. The third step of the process is to find your career story. Now when we talk about career story, what we are talking about that everything that you have done in terms of professional work experience, how does it line up together? Is there actually a continuity in what you are going to tell the admission committees or have you just randomly jumped from one place to the other? Obviously you know the answer, which one is going to be better? The fourth step is to figure out your career goals. Now most of the MBA schools are not just looking at people who have achieved a lot in the past but they have no clue of to, uh, where do they want to go in the future. MBA schools are looking for people who have a vision, who could be molded into leaders of tomorrow. So as a potential leader for tomorrow, what you need to have is a proper vision for yourself. Where do you actually see your career going five years down the line or just after MBA or, 10 or 20 years down the line? So you need to have your vision and you need to have a plan on how do you actually plan to achieve it. So these four steps is what we call the self-discovery process. The next step in this process is to now look at the schools that you're aiming for. Now you should be looking at the B schools who value the same things which you value, who value the strengths that you have. Once you have done that and you have aligned your goals with the expectations of the schools, then it becomes a much, much better scenario for you or much better possibility for you in order to get an admission from that school. Once you have selected your school, you have to select your recommenders. You should choose people who have worked with you closely and who know how you work. Because when the B schools ask for their recommendation, they should be able to say that you were among the top performers of the company. Finally, we come down to steps seven and eight, which is about writing your resume and then moving on to your essays and SOPs. Obviously, these two parts are the most objective parts of the application process. Creating your resume, make sure that you highlight the experiences which bring out the values that the schools look for. Which This will basically mean that you will need to create separate resumes for all the B schools. The final part of essays, you need to be very clear on what are the values that the school really puts an emphasis on and then highlight those experiences in your essays which will bring out these values in you. Now this will maximize your chances to get a call from the university. In the next videos we are going to go much deeper into all of these steps to help you prepare the best application possible for your target B school. Or you could also get in touch with us to help you with these 8 steps. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues who are preparing for their MBAs. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram or subscribe to us on YouTube so that you can keep getting regular updates about our videos and the different content that we post on all the social media. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.